strategies for adding fills to any song in any key any style you don't even have to have heard the song before these strategies will get you through it if this interests you subscribe for more of the same i'll even be giving you a tip that people have been fired for not paying attention to so um stay tuned when the main tune or melody pauses or sustains a long note that's an opportunity for one of the backing musicians to uh, play a little something to help move the tune forward, enhance the tune. That's not a, an opportunity to steal the show. That's that's during the solo break, but um, it it just helps move the tune forward. These are called fills because um, it fills in the gap, and we'll be exploring them on the Rodney Crowell's tune Ain't Livin' Long Like This, which was made famous by Waylon Jennings. And he plays it in the key of A, so I'm gonna do the key of A. These strategies work in any key, so um, if uh, you're, you're backing Emmylou Harris and she does it in the key of C, uh, it works just as well. And it, it works actually in any tune, so it's just a strategy. You don't have to do these exact fills. The first strategy is echo. So an echo in nature repeats what repeats the tail end of, of what you put out there. Um, it may not repeat it exactly. It may distort it. It may trail off. It may leave out um, some of the syllables. That's what you want to do. You can repeat it exactly, or you can just modify it or do whatever you remember or whatever fits the chords. And that's going to sound something like this. <laughs> tip is reflect. So just like a mountain by a lake, the mountain goes up, its reflection goes down. Um, you can do the same thing. When the If the melody goes up, your fill will go down. And this is um, a kind of a nice way, especially when the tune is rather samey, to add some variety. And it may sound something like this. <laughs> Strategy number three is rhythmic backup. So um, a rhythmic fill. So you do whatever rhythmic backup you were already doing, but with even more energy. Um, or you wait until it's time for the fill and then do whatever rhythmic backing back backup you would have been doing had you been playing the whole time. That may sound like this. <laughs> said these work in any key uh, you can mix and match you can do uh, echo reflect echo uh, echo echo reflect uh, uh, I think in, in the beginning uh, I did rhythm echo reflect or something like that I have a fourth tip for you a bonus tip it's it goes with the rest of this video 
in that it is about fills, but it's not exactly a, a strategy for how to play them. Rather, it's how to not to play them, when not to play them. So if, if there's no fiddle part in the studio arrangement of this tune, and um, it's not a piece that you've been burning your whole life to play. It's not the first piece of the set or the second or the last piece of the set, which either of which you would really want to participate in. Uh, if if the band is full, you have a, an acoustic and electric lap steel guitars, um, bass, uh, drums and backup singers. There may not feel like there's room for a fiddle. Um, so you can always sit out. Uh, you can leave the stage or just kind of groove in place. Um, and if the band leader wants to invite you to play, that's always an option. It's better to be invited than to be told to, uh, to back off. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, I've, in my experience, band leaders tend to respect a fiddler who doesn't feel the need to play the whole time. Um, and I have heard of fiddlers who have been fired because they doubled the guitar part or played the melody along with the lead singer. Um, those kinds of things are not polite and they may hurt somebody's feelings and they're just not a good idea. So the three strategies were echo, reflect, and do a rhythmic backup figure. Um, and don't forget the bonus tip, which is don't feel the need to play the whole time. Next time in the Fiddle Fills series, we'll be exploring Hank Williams's recording of Your Cheating Heart with uh, Tommy Jackson's fiddle um, fills. Um, I'm really looking forward to this one. And if you are too, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when it posts. Okay, see you there.